Yay, Champion Beauty, yeah! Welcome back to JVN Beauty. I'm Jonathan Van Ness. I'm the founder of JVN Hair. I'm also like, I mean, you all know by now, I'm, I do like 75 million things. I love all of them. No, I don't have a favorite. Today, we are talking about beauty school. It is all things skin, makeup, and hype. It's not about high ponies. I'm sorry. I just, I have a high pony, so I wanted to whip it. Beauty school is our gorgeous series where we ask you questions on Instagram. You ask all the things, then we answer all the things. Today's episode is all about skin and makeup. Can't wait to talk about it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And now make sure that the pool is deep enough and we are going to dive in. My must rule for skincare and makeup that I will never break is I wear a sunscreen literally every day. I wear it every day. January, I wear it. June, I wear it. I wear it all the time. Even if I'm not gonna leave my house, I put it on in the morning. Because then as you go by a window, you go outside for two seconds. The sun is not messing around these days. So you must put your sunscreen on all the time, every day, winter, fall, summer, spring, all the time. I would actually kind of say yes, because I've noticed that for my skin, I can speak for myself here, if there's two weeks where I'm working like every single day and putting makeup on my face every single day, usually I will get a zit eventually. And I think that that's really just a matter of like, we're touching the face a lot, we're reapplying things to the face a lot, especially if it's like hot and humid if I'm shooting in summer. So I really do like to have at least like a day to get the makeup off your face. Now, if you're someone who's like, I'm working a ton or I only wear makeup every day, I just, you know, I don't feel myself without it. Let's at least make sure that you're getting it off at some point in the day for your skin to breathe. It is a good thing for our skin to be able to breathe from time to time. However, there are a lot of amazing clean makeup lines. Ilia comes to mind, Rose Ink comes to mind that I wouldn't have so much of a fear around. Sometimes I feel like people have like a cast iron skillet for their skin in the sense that you can throw anything at it and nothing happens. Like it's fine. Glue, lashes, put anything on there and their skin's like what? Um, I have psoriasis, which is not eczema, but I feel you scooty on having the really sensitive skin. So when you have sensitive skin, when you're trying new products, you could definitely try a patch test. Try it on a small controlled area of your skin and make sure that you don't have like breakout in hives or have like a full blown allergic reaction. That's one thing that you can do if you're really sensitive to new products. If you also have like extremely sensitive, ouchy skin, if you're suffering from eczema, maybe try things that like don't have fragrance. Like the less fragrance, the less ingredients in a product probably the better. What my derm tells me about when my skin's sensitive from psoriasis, like I don't do scolding hot showers. And also I would say that if you really are having like cracked skin, if you are having like bleeding, if you're having like really sensitive eczema flare ups, you should probably talk to a dermatologist because there are certain things that like a doctor would tell you about that that I probably wouldn't be able to tell you. Yes, yes, yes you're gonna wash your face every night, okay? You went to, where did you go? Where you, here's the only way you cannot wash your face at night. If you're dead. These are the actual reasons why, especially if you do leave your house. If you went to the grocery store, you're touching the cart. Oh, where's the lettuce? Ah! You went to push through a door. All those other people touch a door. Now you're touching your face. Just wash your face. Just wash your face for a minute at least, okay? And then floss and then brush your teeth. Cause you know, I will say this, my husband hates taking full showers at night cause it makes them all like energized. So I got him LA Beautyologist on Instagram. She's amazing. She makes these like towel scrunchy things that you like put on your wrists. They're like these scrunchies. So you can like wash your face and then the water doesn't get all over your arms. They're genius, which she's always sold out. But yeah, try getting those. And wash your face. Ah, Elizabeth, I also too struggle with an under eye bag. I really like to do a double team banger sisters duo of eye peptide gel. Well, obviously by Biosense. I love to do the eye peptide gel and the squalane plus marine algae eye cream. I will start off with my eyes like this and then I use them and they're like, they're so nice. But I will also say this, this is like another little good tip. If you struggle with a lot of like congestion under your eyes, once you put on your eye creams, give them a little lymphatic massage, very light touch, don't have to go in really hard, but you wanna go for a minute, just 
and gently rubbing those under eyes to just kind of drain them out. I like to go from outside in. I used to go from inside out, but then my friend, who's actually sitting behind the camera, she's my makeup artist, she told me that I should do it from the outside in because like they drain on the inside or something. Ah! And those ice balls. Get those ice balls and rub your eye cream in with those ice balls. Ooh, you better. Come on. Ooh, and the jade roller. Come on, jade roller. But sometimes I rub my face with the jade roller so much it turns red. So if you're about to go on the camera, like don't rub the f your face a lot. So really good question. If a product is marked as daytime or nighttime, I would typically use as directed. However, creams that are heavier or thicker are meant to be used at night so that they can really absorb. If they are a lighter and thinner cream, that can sometimes be more for daytime. Also really just listen to the company. Like they have chemists, they have people that are making their formulas. So if it's directed to use in the day, let's use it in the day. If it's directed to be used at night, let's use it at night. I'm typically not a rule breaker when it comes to how I'm supposed to use skincare. What a good, who was that? Emily. I thought you said Ashley. And I was like, I thought Ashley was gonna redeem herself. <laughs> um, Emily, it does kind of depend on your skin type. Certain people do not have sensitive skin. They can like literally throw out a whole line because they're like, I don't like the smell anymore and switch everything. Nothing will happen to certain people. For me, my skin, super sensitive. I can only add one new thing at a time. This was the case for me through my teens, for my 20s. If I change like more than three or four things, like. I'm gonna have psoriasis. My face is going to break out. If you have sensitive skin, if you have any sort of like chronic skin conditions, doing a myriad of new products on your face at one time is never gonna be suggested. And actually, if you do have a skin sensitivity and you're using like several things, you actually wanna remove things one at a time. You wanna do like a process of elimination. It takes like two to four weeks for those results to like kick in. So a lot of times when people are like, oh, my skin is so sensitive. It's like they're just changing way too fast and switching way too often and for their skin to kind of ever settle down. Like a lot of skincare stuff, it actually does take like three months for you to really see like the full results. It's a marathon, it's not a sprint, and we don't wanna change like everything all at once because your, your facial skin is some of the thinnest skin on your body and you just wanna be gentle with it. Oh my gosh, Heather, you're a woman after my own heart because that's exactly how I like to do my own makeup. So after my skincare, I do a blurring primer. I use this one by Algenist, just blurring primer. I love it. Then I'll do a little concealer. I kind of do it in like my triangle. So like this triangle of like underneath your nose to your eye and then I kind of blend it out towards the edges. A little brow gel and a lip and just like a, a chapstick, a lip gloss, a lip seal. And that's really all you need after your sunscreen, obviously. Also some mascara. If if you're wanting a little mascara, just pop those lashes a little bit. I typically can't be bothered um, to put on mascara because I just forget that I'm wearing it and I wipe my eye and then it looks like <laughs> but maybe you like it. Mmm, great question, Carolyn. I would say morning essentials are cleanser, moisturizer, sunscreen. Basic. Like, bare minimum, that's what needs to happen. If you want to be more like where I am in the morning, it's cleanser, toner, eye cream, moisturizer, oil, sunscreen. Every morning, never fails, always that. This is a trickier question, Carolyn, because at nighttime, it de I, I don't do like a monolithic skincare every single night. It depends on what I did in the day. If I feel like my face is dry or if I feel like, I'm, like my face is going through something, then I would do cleanser, toner, a little bit of eye cream, a serum, and some moisturizer. If I feel pretty hydrated and like I didn't really go through that much that day, it might just be like toner and oil. So I do kind of switch it up night by night depending on what my skin needs. The other caveat to that would be, we don't wanna put like six layers of skincare on and then dive straight in bed. Try it cause you're gonna wipe it all off in your pillow. So at least try to put it on like 20, 30, best case is like an hour before bed. So it can really just all over your face. I also love antioxidant cleansing oil by Biosense at nighttime. It's a beautiful cleansing oil. It's gonna get all your makeup off. Stunning, I also sometimes, I walk in on in my bathroom and my elderberry jelly cleanser and my um, antioxidant cleansing oil are actually fighting over who gets to be used. And I'm like, stop! We can double cleanse. Thank you so much for tuning in for yet another scintillating episode of Beauty School. We are gonna be doing more Beauty School, more questions. We got answers. We love y'all. 
Love learning together. Thanks for coming. We love you. See you next time. Yay, Champion Beauty! Yes, yes!